I genuinely believe the quickest way for any young man to make his first $10,000 is through sales. And it's also the best way to then go on to make your first million. So boys, without further ado, I'm going to show you exactly how to get into the world of sales. So you can make your first 10 grand and you can scale up to go on to have your own business or work higher up on the sales. So boys, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, boys, let's get started. How to make your first 10K in sales. Have to start it off with old Jordan Belfort on there. Absolute sales G. If you haven't watched Wolf of Wall Street, but there's no one on here that hasn't watched Wolf of Wall Street, let's be fucking honest with each other. But if you haven't watched Wolf of Wall Street right now, that's number one sales motivation. That's going to get any G into sales. That's what got me so excited about sales back in the day. I remember Wolf of Wall Street came out in 2013. You can fact check that. I was not old enough to see it. My mum took me to the cinema to watch a dinosaur film and uh, I snuck into the Wolf of Wall Street with my buddy Piers back in the UK. And that really opened my eyes to what sales should be like. It's not like the movie, but you can make 10 grand with it pretty easily. So I'll just tell you how sales set me free. I started at 16. I started selling perfume at Next Clothing Store in the UK. So I was the no spray, no lay guy. Girls were coming in, guys were coming in. And I was saying, hello, sir, hello, madam. No spray, no lay. Would you like to try this perfume here? Would you like to try this? This smells like Chanel, even though it's only $10, blah, blah, blah. And I started selling perfume and nobody, I, I didn't get any commission. Just nobody else wanted to do that job. So it was like, I, I was kind of like, I like talking to people. I'll do that job. So that's how I first got into sales and I enjoyed it and I was good at it. And I, I felt good when someone would go and buy the perfume I told them to. And I was like, it's interesting. Now, that job paid me fuck all. That was like six dollars an hour and i didn't really work that much i was still at school and i bought a load of holidays when i was 18 a vacation for you americans with my buddies so i wanted to go away to cabos and i also booked croatia and we were going away to have a lad's holiday and it was like two or three grand's worth of holidays that i didn't have the money for i wasn't making enough money to pay for it so i went online and i typed in jobs that make a hundred to two hundred dollars a day but it's pounds because i'm from england but for you Americans, dollars. Anyway, there was one job that came up, said selling boat tours, selling boat tours on the river in Cambridge. It was about a 40 minute drive from my house. I had a car, so I drove there. I met this guy, his name was Matt, really sound guy, had a little sort of shady business set up on the side of the river. A couple of boats go and he said, look, hold this wooden board, go out there and sell boat tours. And for every boat tour that you sell, and you could sell a boat tour for about $250 if you got the whole boat full of somebody taking someone up the river, I would get 35%. And this was my first real look into the power of sales. And that summer, I absolutely smashed it. $100 minimum per day. Best days were like $350, $400, which for me at the time was incredible because I had these holidays to pay for and I needed cash. And it was absolutely insane. So when I did this, I was like, wow, this is a real look into how good sales can be. I was just out in the sun all day, chatting to people, making money hand over fist. I know it's not the most money in the world, but that was an incredible job. So sales set me free. It showed me that with my own determination and effort, I could decide my own income. And after that moment, I always had money. I might have not had a lot of money. I might have overspent. I may have been in debt, but I always had money. There was never a point where I was the broke guy. I always had money at some point or another. I was always had money because I always worked in sales after that point. And then as I got older, I ended up being a sales manager at a telecoms company. And that was what allowed me to have my own apartment, my own car, I had a girlfriend, and I had enough money saved. I had 10 grand saved through my sales job, through my commissions that allow me to move to Thailand, take a bet on myself, to take a bet on my personal brand and move out here. And it's also the same skills. Those sales skills are now correlated to me making $45,000 in a month with my personal brand because it's all sales at the end of the day. So sales, in case you boys weren't sold on it, sales will set you free. But let's get into how do you get into this shit if you've never done it before. Understanding the world of sales, very, very important part because most people I see come into sales and they quit. And the reason why is because they work a shit offer. If you work a shit offer in sales, your job's going to be very hard. Let's say, for example, you take your first sales job and you are trying to sell fax machines to businesses, cold calling. What do you think somebody's going to say in the 21st century when you try and sell them a fax machine? Now, this is the majority of sales offers. They're absolute shit. And the only way to be successful in them is to be one of these killer salesmen. And even then, you're not going to make a lot of money. So... Number one thing that everybody fails to talk about is finding an offer, finding a killer offer to sell. Because the better your product that you sell, the easier your job is as a salesman. You, do, you end up not even really needing to sell. The offer sells itself. 
You're more of a consultant feel. The job's way more fun. You get warm leads. Very, very, very good, good way to work. So I, I rank jobs on a rating system, the level system from level one to level 10 opportunities. And I rate salesmen from a level one to a level 10. A level 10 is the best possible. A level one is the worst possible. A level one salesman can make 50 grand a year in a level 10 opportunity as a starting out in a level 10 opportunity. Whereas a level 10 salesman will only make 50K a year in a level one opportunity. So you have to be very, very careful. You can be a pretty shitty salesman and still make a lot of money with the right offer. If you find a killer offer, for example, if you're new to sales, you get paid commission. So like we said before, I sell a boat tour I get 35% and the boat tours around $250. Let me do some quick maths. That would be 35, 70, 70 dollars, about 85, 90 dollars per tour that I get in commission. If I can find a sales job that allows me to sell a 250,000 product for 35% commission, then I'm getting my 85, 90,000 per deal. And that is literally how sales work. So how do you get into it? How do you find one of these 10K per month golden sales jobs? where you don't have to worry so much about eating shit. Well, number one, you've got to learn the ropes. You've got to learn selling and you've got to do some practice. So I recommend you start with a few books. I'm going to give them to you here. How I raised myself from failure to success in selling. This will give you a very good understanding of how a sales job works. And it's a very good book for following in terms of sales structure, how do you close clients, all of that sort of stuff. Number two, how to win friends and influence people. If you haven't read this book before, it will absolutely change your life in a, a variety of ways, not just due to sales, but it also creates very good salesmen. And number three, psycho-cybernetics. When I first read this book, I was doing a cold calling job where I would have to book appointments to sell telephone systems. And we got paid fairly well for it. We got a salary and then we would get about $100 for booking an appointment with someone. It didn't have to sell. If it went on to sell, you got commission on that as well, depending on the size of the deal. So what I did is I read this book, Psycho-Cybernetics, and I'd always been stuck at around one lead a day, which was okay. You could get by on that, but it wasn't great. I read this book and I implemented the strategies and I went up to about three leads per day, about $300 per day, plus commissions, plus salary. So I was making good money for a little while. Very good book to read. Highly recommend it to business owners, people currently in the world of sales. Very, very worth doing. After you've learned the ropes of sales through your own self-learning, you are now in a position to find your first sales job. And what I would recommend you do is you're not going to fall into one of these beautiful positions of high ticket closing on a warm offer or the warm lead somebody who's inquired about the product, it's not gonna fall into your lap that easily. So what you need to do is find somebody with real traffic, somebody who has an offer, so maybe a favorite mentor. For example, if you were to come on and sell my high ticket package for me, you would get commission and you would get all warm leads, people that wanna to speak to me, that wanna be on my coaching and you just have to speak to them, get them through the deal, close them, collect cash, you get paid commission. So th these are kind of the creme de la creme of jobs because you can work them anywhere in the world as well and they can make you far in excess of ten thousand dollars a month so what you do to start this is you will go on instagram make sure your profile sorted out if you haven't sorted out your profile do it with my instagram video instagram like a g is cool go on there sort your profile out say that you're a closer you're a salesman then you need to do some cold outreach to people with offers and what i would recommend you do is you go for a job as an appointment setter appointment setting versus closing so when you first start out in sales when you're on your way to making your first 10 grand a month you will normally start as an appointment setter which is exactly where i started when i got into the world of online sort of phone sales. and what you're doing is you are calling somebody most of the time that has inquired about a product. Let's say they've inquired about my mentorship. You're going to call them up. You say, look, I see you've inquired about this. Can we set up a video a video appointment with, with our guy who's going to run you through and tell you everything about it? Yes, we can. Bang, appointment booked. You get paid for setting the appointment. You get paid a salary and you get paid if the deal closes. That's very good. You need to consider that. If they're not paying you on those three things, probably not the best job, unless they're paying you really high commissions when it sells or really high commissions for booking an appointment. Because I've been paid on all three and I've been paid on just booking an appointment. There's literally no, no difficulty change in the job, just a difficulty in the amount of work you're doing and the amount of money you're taking home. So look out for a good offer, but you'll start in appointment setting. Most people, you just say, look, I'm happy to call some cold leads for you. I will appointment set for free for the first ones. If I can book some appointments, I'd love to have a chance with you. This is how you get into that world and you start learning. Then what you do is you hone your skills, you get some training from these people, from these companies, and you move yourself up from an appointment setter to a closer. And then you'll get in the appointments that the other people are setting, the lower down sales guys are setting, and you're just going on, you're talking with that customer, running them through the deal, 
bang, you're making commission. You can literally make a grand commission per deal, maybe even more on these high ticket closing offers. Bang, straight in your pocket, you're making between 10 and 30 grand a month. That is how I would go for it. Some of the best highest, sort of highest paid sales jobs. Obviously you've got your online high ticket closing on warm leads for a coach. That's what we've just discussed. And then you've got others that re require a bit more investment in a career like luxury real estate, luxury watches, any high ticket offer really, you wanna be on high ticket if you're selling a $100 product and you make 10% commission, it's, 10, it's $10, it's it's not a lot of money. Just remember that in your mind, you have to think big on the offers you sell, you're gonna make more commission. And then you've got SaaS products, software as a service, a lot of very highly paid salespeople in, in the software industry, but that can re require going to university, having a degree, that sort of stuff requires a lot of travel. I think really this remote online high ticket closing is the way to go. It's probably the best jobs you'll get your hands on in regards to just getting 10 grand under your belt quickly and getting exposure to somebody with a personal brand who's kind of like your mentor at that point. So very, very valuable job opportunity. That's about as much as I've got to give you boys. If you are serious about making 10K a month and you've tried the stuff that I've just given you and you've put the work in, you've put the time in and you still want to take it further and you need some extra help, you can check out the new elite below. It is our global private networking group and education platform. I will show you exactly how to sell within your business, cold calling scripts, how to sell all these high ticket appointments if you are currently a coach or a mentor, and also the exact cold outreach strategy that we use to land the interviews with hot offers. So how do you actually get yourself in front of a high ticket coach? How do you make sure you work for them? How do you make 10K a month? So if you want all of that training, if you want to jump on calls with me weekly and our group mentorship, get access to our global network, the link is down below. Go and check that out. Drop me a DM when you join inside the Telegram. It'd be an absolute pleasure to speak with you. But apart from that, boys, wishing you all the best. Hope to see some success stories of you boys making 10k a month. See you on the next one. Whoop out, whoop